William Dowling is a great grandfather. He doesn't have the look of a calculated poisoner, but he admitted in court that mercury was his weapon of choice. Mr. Dowling had been poisoning his wife's beverages for months. Despite their separation, she'd regularly go back and visit her husband at the family home in Colne, Lancashire. She would often question him about the silver globules she found in the tea that he served. He blamed the kettle or the tea bags. It was, in fact, mercury, the substance he strangely thought could save their marriage. Mr. Dowling has wanted to rekindle the relationship with his separated wife and in some perverse way to make her ill would then make her dependent on him in terms of providing care and that has been put forward as the uh, as the motive for his actions and I know of nothing else to say that's not correct. Mrs Dowling supported by her daughters claimed her forgetfulness, indigestion, loss of balance and pins and needles were all down to the mercury, but medical tests were inconclusive. William Dowling's legal representative quoted Shakespeare in his client's defence. He was questioning whether or not the mercury really affected Mrs Dowling as much as she said. The lady doth protest too much, he quoted. The judge agreed in part that there were question marks about the effects of the mercury, but he said it was the act itself that was a wicked way of treating your wife. It was also potentially fatal. Mr Dowling was given a 350 day suspended prison sentence. His wife has said there's now no chance of resurrecting their marriage.